Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in Treco Bay. The last time I filmed was about 14 months ago. It was in uh, COVID. It was not the best, um, but I had 25,000 views. So I'd like to thank everybody that watched and everybody that uh, subscribed to my channel. So today I'm standing on the beach and I've come back because I wanted to show you the completely different the site is compared to what it was 14 months ago. The vibe is completely different and also they've done some work where they put most of the stuff under a dome and so no matter what the weather is, people can enjoy themselves. So let's go and have a look at the, uh, the dome that they've done because it is absolutely amazing. After a short walk, literally five minutes maximum from the beach, here's the new um, pavilion at Treco Bay. And I gotta be honest with you, this is absolutely outstanding. So just have a look at this. Heard you saying something last night in your sleep. Smiling on your face like you wouldn't believe. I think I see some changes in your energy. Did you try to find another lover better than me? So go. Just leave me alone, back where you belong You can call me crazy, okay, maybe, yeah, so I'm losing control, tell me if you're feeling tied up Then let me cut you loose So none of this was here last year. So what is great, no matter if it's raining, windy, storms, you can come and enjoy yourself. So um, what I thought we'd do is let's have a quick look in the Tandori kitchen, is it? Just to have a look in the restaurant. I'm making assumptions, but my conscience is jumping. It's steady, bump, bump, bumping, bump, bumping, bump, bumping. I'm feeling quite redundant, but I can see you fronting. From Brooklyn to London, lo London, lo London. Go, just leave me alone, back where you belong. You can call me crazy. So that's the time Dory Kitchen. Obviously, it's closed because it's only. 12 o'clock, but I gotta be honest here, absolutely spotless, really, really good. So, also for you now, as you go outside, they got the Starland crazy, so all the kids there again entertained, so that's absolutely brilliant. And you also got the Alloy Bar, which is like a beach bar, it's like a Benidorm thing, I think, but absolutely fantastic. I gotta be honest though, I'm really impressed. And here we have the boathouse bar and restaurant. So you can walk in here, they were having breakfast earlier on, so this is open. I tell you what, everything is lovely and clean here. Yeah? So if you didn't want to eat inside, and it was a nice day, then you can walk out onto the patio area where you can grab yourself a drink. And the kids can play and go for a dip for their luck. Here's a place to go if you like the slot machines. I absolutely used to love the slot machines when I was younger. Fantasia. And 
just inside the gaming area, we've got the next level gaming area, so I believe this is for teenagers. How cool is that? This would be great if you're a teenager, want to come and just relax and play some video games. Well, Park Dean have definitely spent uh, a lot of money on this place. Well, I just took a walk down to where they sell the caravans and I asked very nicely if I could go inside and film and they declined. And I asked if there was any way at all. I said I wasn't going to give a bad review. And they said there is no way on this earth am I going in and filming in one of the caravans. So look at the price, mind. Well, I don't really blame them because if you've got a hundred thousand pound to buy the caravan, you can have it, mind, a thousand pound a month uh, on finance. So. Don't worry about the crisis. Just go and spend hundred thousand pound on a caravan. I think you're looking between four and six thousand pound fees a year. So if any of you got that money, this is the place to buy a caravan. Absolutely crazy, crazy money. Oh yeah, look, there's one by you now, right? If I show you, eighty-two thousand four hundred ninety-five pound. But you can have it on the monthly. For one thousand one hundred and seventy-eight pound and three pence. So, if any of you want to buy that, and then there's a cheaper one by you, sixty-four thousand four hundred ninety-five pound, and that's only seven hundred and fifty-six pound seventy-seven a month. So, can anyone afford that? I'm a little bit um, disappointed to be honest, though, because. I could have gone in there and I could have showed you what it was really like and you could have made your own minds up then if it was good value for money. But anyway, it's up to them. Right, let's go and try and see if the fairground is open. I haven't been to fair for a long, long time. So that's about a 10 minute walk. So as I go through the new um, dome again, I tell you what, I absolutely love it, yeah? Honestly, I know I said it before, the vibe is absolutely amazing. Right, anyway, enough of waffling on, I'll see you down the fair. Well, this brings back memories. Do you know what? When I was a kid, I used to spend hours and hours and weeks and weeks and weeks in this place. Absolutely loved it. I'm going to give you a little tip. After five o'clock on a Friday, the rides are basically £1.50 a ride. So it works out less than half price. And that has been going for years. Years and years. Jesus, this is amazing. Do you know? I feel as if I'm 10 again. Absolutely love the rides. Jesus, I can tell you some memories of this place. Loads of stories to tell you. But maybe that maybe that'll be for another time. Right, I'm gonna show you around. So enjoy the rides. Coney Beach Pleasure Park and I don't know why I'm getting myself into scrapes I don't know the last, one, last couple of times I filmed in. Basically I was filming, a security guard pulled me, said what am I doing? 
said, I'm filming the ride for you two. And he said, I don't think you're allowed. So I said, oh, well, I won't film then. But it seems strange that everybody else is filming on their phone. So he said, oh, right, I'll have to take you into the office to see the manager. So I said, oh, all right, no problems. So he goes in the office and the manager said, can I help you? I said, oh, I'm just filming the rides. He said, yeah, no problems. So that was the end of that. So the security guard said, oh, sorry, I had a check. I said, oh, whatever. Anyway, right. This is probably the best fish and chip shop, I believe, in South Wales. And I eat a lot of fish and chips. It's Beale's chip shop. And I got to show you before we finish the film. I believe this is amazing. So if you do come to uh, Puff Call, and I suppose you'll be staying in Treco Bay, this is a must. So have a look at Beagle's Fish and Chip Shop. So there it is, that's Beagle's Fish and Chip Shop. Established in 1937. You can see, look, there's a queue outside because the fish and chips are so good. So that's the takeaway part. And you've also got the restaurant part. I won't go in because there's a lot of people eating, but this comes highly recommended. So you can, you can either sit in the restaurant or you can get your fish and chips takeaway and then you can sit with the children in Griffin Park over there. Plenty of toilets. This is absolutely ideal to come here. And also, if you can just look over the hedge, they got bowling greens and they got tennis courts, look. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it, but a couple of nicks and bobs, but it's okay. Right, I'm just going to leave you now to show you the beaches that they got in Puff Call. You've got Sandy Bay, which is to the left of Treco Bay. You've got Coney Beach, which is the main one in Puff Call. But you've also got one which is off, off the town a bit, which is called Rest Bay. I highly recommend Rest Bay. Uh, I'll show you that now. Rest Bay is absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, baby crying. Someone's not happy. Right, I'm going to leave it off here. And until the next time, bye for now.